you know, being on the road, you just meet so many different types of people and like you realize that there's like so many awesome different people out there, but I mean, most people are good. Most people are super welcoming, super generous. You'll just go to a place and people open up their like their city, their golf course, their home to you and you're basically a stranger. So getting to know the different people from all different walks of life and kind of how golf specifically in our case, like brings people together. In all my travels, I haven't really done a Northeast trip yet. So this really opens the doors to yep. meeting some new people, having some new experiences. I mean, it's one of my favorite things is finding new open road and uh, unexplored zones uh, that I haven't, haven't experienced yet. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to this one. Cars with Golf in Your State. Jordan Griggs, The Dapper Drive. So Golf in Your State, I obviously love to feature golf travel. I travel all over the United States, like to feature highlights of different golf destinations. Yeah. I mean, really that's what it comes down to is places people purpose. So The Dapper Drive, I played golf like since I was 10 years old and about the same time I started to kind of get into style so I like to dress well and um, so I kind of merged the two together and so the Dapper Drive, Dapper for clothing apparel. So I write and talk a lot about different golf brands, apparel brands, mostly kind of up and coming that I like a lot that I think are pretty stylish. Drive is kind of like the golf component as well as like RV travel. So it's kind of golf travel style uh, website and obviously social media. I will say my friends taught me a lot about golf stuff. Thank you. That's, sure. that's a great Never plug. plug. <laughs> See, that's why I keep this guy around. You are evolving. You are evolving into the style that is golf in your state now. That's true. So look at you now. You're I mean, look at him. Get ahead to toe this guy. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram. Our first round of Tobacco Road. Yeah. Uh, fall 2016. Like, wow, this guy's kind of doing something similar to what I was doing, which was traveling around in an RV. And he's basically traveled around in a Subaru with a tent, uh, like a pop top tent. It. And so we met up in North Carolina, which is kind of my home base. and. Hit it off, and here we are a couple years later, still at it. How many miles have you guys logged over the last couple years, you think? You got a number? I don't have a number. He's definitely done more than me. Um, 70,000 miles. I've probably got 50. What have you learned the most from being on the road? It's a lot of time by yourself. I've got my wife, so I can maintain sanity maybe better. Maybe not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think for me, it's just opened my eyes to like all kinds of different people. I mean, I think your tagline's great because like when I started RVing, I knew nothing about it. And I think if you're a non rv you might have some like preconceived notions about like, people that do RV or camp. I've always been like fly to a resort and just enjoy the luxuries of life. But you know, being on the road, you just meet so many different types of people. I realize that there's like so many awesome different people out there, but I mean, most people are good. Most people are super welcoming, super generous. You'll just go to a place and people open up their like their city, their golf course, their home to you, and you're basically a stranger. Getting to know the different people from all different walks of life and kind of how golf specifically, in our case, like brings people together. If you're on the golf Doesn't course matter. together, you're gonna have a good time. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing about the sport and kind of travel within the sport. I mean, I would totally agree. For me, it's it's always about the people and who I connect with and kind of the experiences that we have together. I mean, I'm not only trying to focus on the golf, I'm trying to focus on the destination as a whole. So, I mean, that's what's always been most important to me is connecting with my Instagram following and really just kind of showcasing all of it. I mean, if I had to say I learned one thing from being on the road, it was it would definitely be to be flexible. Don't set a, a strict itinerary because you're never going to stick to it. I mean, I want to leave lots of room for spontaneity, whatever might come around the corner. So leave it an open book and, and see where the next, what the next chapter is. I mean, this is our second official trip together. It's a little bit different because we've always been so regimented in what we do um, as far as the itinerary. And this time I urged and suggested that we leave a lot of flexibility and time to just kind of do our thing and see what might happen. You know? Yeah, so we got Ferry Point today. Yep. We got some Nova Scotia golf, including Cabot kind of midway through the trip. Don't tell them everything. And then we know we have to end here. Yep. That's all I'm gonna tell them. We're coming back to New York. Yeah, we're coming back to New York. Everything else was, who knows? Yo. We'll see.
People talk about like golf being spiritual and I think like anyone who's been to Cabot can understand like that is you like feel something different when you're not only on the golf courses but just in on Cape Breton Island like cliffside ocean like it's just yeah, I'm gonna tear yeah, up I I'm can't gonna tear wait up. <laughs> I can't wait this yeah, is gonna be so it's good cool. My, luckily, my wife is very understanding of my passion uh, for golf and um, and travel. So she, she happens she, to like me too. So she, I got, she likes I got Matt. The Matt's on her good side. So shout out Brittany for letting me. Hell yeah! You know, shout out. Be to away Brittany. for two weeks and take care of everything. This so. isn't our last one, B. There's yeah. going to be another. So just brace yourself. <laughs> one at a time. Matt. One at a time. One at a time. Let's get through this one. Every good relationship starts on Instagram, right? That's, true. That's why. I, Absolutely. Oh, I met him on Instagram. Is that where you met <laughs> your wife? No, no, no. That's where. Oh, uh, you better watch what you say on that camera. What do you listen to in the car? You know, I'm kind of a wide mix. I definitely listen to a lot of music. I get a lot of business done in the car while I'm driving. But podcasts, I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, honestly, I, I like Barstool Sports, local New York uh, yeah. sports outlet. They've got a great podcast. No Laying Up's got a cool podcast. A lot of golf podcasts. And I've then, definitely been listening to the Eric Anders Lang podcast. You know, if I'm with my wife, Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I hope you left that mix at home. Since you're the, the dapper drive, is there ever a lot of pressure to match and look really fucking good every time? Uh, you know, I think I take it as a challenge to uh, to really show up for everyone. No, I don't know. I, I like style. The thing about style, to me, you can do it so differently and still look good. And there's a million different ways to do it. And at the end of the day, it's like you just have to like what you're wearing. I try to keep. I like. I try to keep that mindset and. Like even out here today, you got guys wearing like Jordans, guys wearing joggers. You know, we're rocking like the classic cricket kind of cotton shirts. Everyone can still look good, so just find your style and rock it out, you know? That's what I try to do. Here. <laughs>